Hey YouTubers, today I will show you how to convert MATLAB in build function to C or C++ so you can take MATLAB advantage to build your complex mathematical code. If you enjoy this video, please give, give a thumbs up, share and subscribe my channel. Let's start. Things you need to start with this. Prerequisite MATLAB. It should support MEX. MEX is a MATLAB executable which help you to configure appropriate compiler. Second, coder which converts your MATLAB function into C or C++ language. Next, a C or C++ compiler. Here I am using Visual C++ 2010 compiler. Now let's start with it. Follow these steps. First, open your MATLAB. Once MATLAB is opened, first we will check if MEX is available on our MATLAB. If MEX is available, console will display the message as it says, this utility will help you set up a default compiler. To choose the compiler, let's locate the installed compiler in our system. Say yes to it. MATLAB will display available compiler in our system. Choose, our comp choose your compiler and say yes. Now let's verify our choice. Say yes again. As I am using Visual C++ compiler. Now our compiler is all set. Let's clear the console. Now, now let's take an example to build C or C++ specific code for MATLAB built-in function eg or eig which helps to calculate eigenvectors and eigenvalues. First let, let's look how the eigen function works. Let's create an 3 by 3 matrix A. Let A equal to 3, 2, 4, 2, 0, 2, 4, 2, 3. A matrix has been generated. Now let's find eigenvalue and eigenvector for A using eig function. Here V is eigenvector matrix, D is eigenvalue diagonal matrix. So as you can see, we have obtained eigenvectors and eigenvalues. Now let's build an user defined function which will wrap the inbuilt function eig. To write user defined function, go to file new function a function window will be opened. Let's starting start writing the functions. Let's give a name to the function, let's say get egan. Now let's pass the para uh, matrix as parameter whose eigen value and eigen vector need to be found. Let's say A. You can give any name as you wish. Now let assign return parameter and MATLAB return types are of real so let's say egan vector comma egan value
let's delete this comment section comments let's write built-in egon function inside the function body the parameter a is been passed to built-in function ig here we will here we will hold egon vector d will hold Egon value matrix respectively. Now let's return the Egon value and Egon vector matrix by typecasting it to real as it may hold complex values. Now one, one should keep the order in which parameter is placed. Egon vector maps to V and Egon value maps to D. Now let's check does our user defined function works fine and uh, first we will save our work. Uh, let's save on desktop. Save. Let's deb debug the function. Set add to path. Get back to the command command window or command form. We'll, now let's check does a user divine function work as needed. Yes, it works fine. Now let's clear the console. Now we will convert the function to C or C++. Type the command coder. Press enter. Now assign name to the project. I am defining the name same as the user defined function created. That's get egan and uh, I'm specifying the desktop as the path for the project to be built. Let the type be the same as specified. Press OK. Add the dot m file to entry point. Browse to the desktop. Get dot get egan dot m open. Before building, let's specify the folder name where converted file should be saved. So double click. The file and uh, specify the folder name where the code has to be stored. Let's say code gen and save the work. Close it. Now define the data type for the variable a. Um, let's set to float. 
here float is known as single now let's specify the size of the matrix let's keep it dynamic so we have specify the size as in cross in colon in and say ok now go to build tab uh, select the output type as C or C++ static library click generate code only go for more settings at in memory tab choose for all variable size array it will set all array type to dynamic size now close the windows now let's generate the C specific file by clicking on build our code conversion is successful now let's navigate to the code gen folder it will be created to the path specified for .prg file close the window minimize minimize and uh, code, go to code gen library get egan here are the files generated by the MATLAB coder. Here is the getegan.h header file. Let's open it. This is the function declaration of the getegan. and constant emx array real32 underscore t these are the parameters this is this is the parameter pointer parameter for matrix a for this this pointer parameter for matrix egon vector pointer parameter for matrix egon value now let's check the source source file for this get egon for get egon function This is the source code, the get egan. Other .c and .h files are related files to the get egan files. Now we have successfully converted built in MATLAB function to C or C++ specific. In my next video, I will show you how to code a C++ program to get Egan vector and Egan value using this converted file. For it, stay tuned to my channel by subscribing it. Thank you.